With Melodance Studio, you can create different sound variations for different sections of a track. And with a little trick, it's even possible to make note by note adjustments. Here's how. This is a picking guitar. It is accompanied by some tracks of pads and frippertronics. Now, open the sound editor on the guitar and tilt the harmonics for kind of a low pass filtered sound. At first, this affects all notes throughout the entire track. To apply the effect to just one passage, first undo the filtering, then split the clip in the door, as I do here in bar 11. And with my door here, I have to make the new clip become a shared copy. And then the little numbers indicate that the clips are of somewhat different generations and each generation may have different sound editor settings. To decide which generation to edit, I simply select the node, let's take one from by 11 and adjust the harmonics again. This will now affect all the nodes in this clip at bar 11. To limit the range of the sound edit, use your DOS functions to alter the clip borders. If your DAW allows, you could also crossfade between the clips, thus crossfading between two different sound editor settings. Until now, you're still working on a clip or a slice of audio that may contain several notes played at the same time. But processing them individually is possible too. First, decide which note you want to process individually. Let's take this one. And for the purpose of explanation, I'll pick a second one as well. Now, mute those two by double-clicking them with the Amplitude tool. Next, duplicate the track. Also, duplicate Melodyne along with it. And in the duplicate, the two notes in question are muted as well. So, before you change that, make sure to separate the shared copy or create a real copy. Unless your DAW does this automatically, such as Pro Tools would do or Logic. And then, in the copy track, unmute the notes in question. Invert the selection and mute those notes then. Now, listening back in solo, we have... And on the first track, you have the counterpart. Listening to all tracks together, Nothing has changed yet. But now let's go to the copy track and open the sound editor. And for the sake of explanation, let me do some rather wild changes. Okay, let's do something even more obvious. Well, I suppose you get the idea and you hopefully took some inspiration from today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye.